correct. Um, and so, uh, Officer Gunnell, when you um, think Sorry. about that and, and share with us the vivid memory of, of the cruelty and the violence of the assault that day, um, and then you hear uh, former President Trump say, quote, it was a loving crowd. There was a lot of love in the crowd. How does that make you feel? It's upsetting. It's a pathetic excuse for his behavior for something that he himself helped to create. This monstrosity. I'm still recovering from those hugs and kisses that day that he claimed that so many rioters, terrorists, were assaulting us that day. If that was hugs and kisses, then we should all go to his house and do the same thing to him. To me, it's insulting, it's demoralizing, uh, because of everything that we did was to prevent every one in the Capitol from getting hurt. And what he was doing, instead of sending the military, instead of sending the support or telling his people, his supporter, to stop this nonsense, he egged them to continue fighting. I was in the lower West Terrace fighting alongside these officers. And all of them, all of them were telling us, Trump sent us. Nobody else, there was nobody else. It was not Antifa. It was not Black Lives Matters. It was not the FBI. It was his supporter that he sent them over to the Capitol that day. And he could have done a lot of things. One of them was to tell him to stop. He talks about sacrificing Sacrifices, why not? The only thing that he has sacrificed is the institutions of the country and the country itself only for his ego because he wants to continue. Do want to, he wants the job, but he doesn't want to do the job. And that's a shame on him and himself. 